Brandon Darby was a Texas activist who became an FBI informant in the mid-2000s. He was somebody who had just been on the fringe of the activist scene around Austin, not a major organizer or anything. Brandon exhibited a lot of behaviors that were problematic from the beginning, but they're not because he was an informant. They're just because he was a fucked up person. My name is Brandon Darby, and I work with the Common Ground Collective in New Orleans, Louisiana. He didn't come to Common Ground until about mid-October, after we had done some initial rescue effort. And Common Ground was really an established organization by the time he came in. But due to some of the things that he and I had engaged in by taking up arms against white militias, taking, uh, taking up arms against the police in those early days, Malik Rahim, who's another co-founder of the Common Ground Collective in New Orleans, gave him more power than he should have in the organization. And the out of control amount of power that he was given in this circumstances was just a toxic combination. Just really vicious. We made him leave Common Ground because he was so dysfunctional. A lot of people ask, the, the million dollar question is, when did Brandon Darby become an FBI informant? If I had to pick one particular time, I think it's sometime between March and May of 2006. That's what it looks like in the FBI documents that I've already received from the Freedom of Information Act request. It looks like he starts giving information for free and then they offer to pay him at some point. Recognize that he never did it for the money. He has a trust fund kid. You know, he's from a working class background, but his grandmother came into money and he does have access to money through her. He did it for ideological reasons. Reasons. And so we made him take a leave of absence, but then he finagled his way back in in January of 2007. That means that he was actively working for the FBI at that point. A prominent Austin-based activist named Brandon Darby has revealed he worked as an FBI informant in the 18 months leading up to the Republican convention. Well, Brandon Darby has been involved in several activist groups, is best known as a founder of the New Orleans-based group Common Ground Relief, which he helped start after Hurricane Katrina. He's expected to testify on behalf of the government later this month in the trial of two Texas activists who were arrested at the RNC on charges of making and possessing Molotov cocktails.